Chris Weber. Allie LaForce joins us as well. Hey, Allie. Tobias Harris is the straw that stirs the drink in Philly, if you will. He said, quote, I see myself as the connector here, bringing guys together. I've been around the game a minute. I know how to communicate with different personalities. I'm here for one reason only, to help this team get to the championship. Guys, back to you. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thank you. Look at now at some numbers for Ben Simmons. And a stat to focus on is his steal total over the last five games. He's been working on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot better on D. And now Indiana starting group. The bonus and Turner are the four and the five. Karis LeVert is out there with TJ McConnell. And it's Warren in at the three spot. And for the 76ers, Harris and Embiid make up the front court. Ben Simmons is out there with Matisse Thibel. And it's Green in at the three. All right, Grant, I'm going to need you to tell me the truth here. How often do players check in on their own stats during the season? But yeah, you want the truth? You can't handle the truth. <laughs> the truth of the matter is players are very much aware of their stats. A lot of these teams have the stats displayed in the arena for all to see. But I'll tell you what. During timeouts, they always hand out a stat sheet to the coaches. And you always see players in huddles looking over the shoulder of the coach to see exactly where their stats are. I bet you didn't know that. Oh, I knew that. I just didn't know if you'd admit that you know what I know. Did you do that, Brent? <laughs> Who, me? Never. What are you talking about? Of course I did. <laughs> and down it goes. Two points. What a ball is this guy. It's the big fella, Embiid. I mean, he welcomes getting physical you know, and overwhelms the defense with his size and muscle. Now here's LeVert giving them some good production, putting up just around 16 and a half points a game. Now they've tailored their offense around him. Let me tell you, he loves playing in the system. Here's Simmons. Pass to Harris. Now here's Embiid. Harris with it. He's guarded by Sabonis. Harris shot is good. Uh, it, it's been absolutely amazing to watch Harris mature. Physically, he can handle the power. Sabonis with it. Levert outside. Back to Sabonis. Now Levert. Five to shoot. It's stolen by Green. And they're pushing it up. Outside Simmons. Oh, a special move before that job. Embracing the physicality of the game. Simmons, he's used to getting knocked around a bit on the way up, but he's okay. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by. McConnell with it, picked up by Embiid. Pass to LeBert. Shot, no good. Good D by Harris. The 76ers have gone three of three out of the gate. Simmons, the pass to Embiid. Back to Simmons. Five on the clock. They set a pick. And the layup is good off the glass. Physicality of Simmons on display. So it's a fight of fearlessness in a place like this. And you look at Tobias Harris, I mean, right at the cusp of being an all star. Great numbers from him. Starting to hit his stride. Just needs one quick year to make that jump. Now here's Simmons. His offense has been fantastic. Averaging just over 17 a game. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. McConnell with it. Simmons defending. LeVert outside. To the new year how about a check on the eastern conference standings taking a look at philadelphia they're sitting at the top of their conference right now with the number one record and check it out indiana five spots from the top well right now for the 76ers i recall them having a lot of naysayers at the start of the season but now 
they may not have any. This team is ready for a deep playoff run. You know, that's the mindset you have to have. They know if they can get to the playoffs, they have the talent to do some real damage. Now here's Simmons. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. It's a nine-point spread. Pass to McConnell. Sabonis outside. The bird with the ball. McConnell outside. Looking to win the run. And that one's long. 76ers have got five of seven shots to fall. Now here's Simmons. He's covered closely. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. And Indiana gets called for the foul. He's almost seven feet tall. Simmons is a tough guard. I mean, you got to be careful not to get too physical. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. You know, everybody falls in love with how Ben Simmons creates on offense. But as a defender, see Webb, he's top-notch as well. Oh, yeah. Simmons has a great sense for picking off passes and coming up with steals. Athletic frame lets him guard anybody. The kind of player that erases mismatches on defense. And he can't make the second free throw either. Missed them both. I mean, you got to love the skill set that Simmons possesses. Might be triple-double threat. But he stuffs the stash. Pass to LeBert from behind the arc. Nice. Gets his second bucket. He's two for four now. He's not going to get it easy. You don't need to double-team him. But you can't leave him all alone. Down low. Here's Simmons. Solid at realizing when one of his guys is uncovered. For Indiana, they've gone only two of seven so far. A cold start. Pass to Sabonis. It's Warren on the wing. With the drive. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. The defense has to be better. Flat out, can't give Warren these types of lanes to the bucket. On the wing, Green. Back to Thibel. Here's Simmons. Inside. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. McConnell outside. Pass to LeBert. Driving to the basket. Let's the three fly. Four seconds left. And it's a bonus laying it in. That'll drive your coach crazy. Failing to box out. Ugh. Oh, it's simple. You fail to put a body on someone. You're inviting a breakdown in the defensive flex. Now, here's Green. Right now, averaging five and a half a game. Embiid misses. That's high quality defense right there. Read the situation, reacting, and making that very tough jump shot. Pass to Warren. Sabonis with a screen on Green. He playing soft off him. He might have been better off taking it to the hoop instead of settling for the jump. Simmons against Warren. Simmons, the pass to Harris. With the fadeaway. Warren with the rebound. Indiana has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Driving inside. And he had the wingspan of Embiid. I mean, very effective at using his lift to turn shots back. This quarter has been hit or missed for him mostly. Yes. Now here's Simmons. In the game against New York. Very impressive. Embiid a screen on Warren. Harris. And he can't get that one. And Indiana will come the other way. Warren coming off a 12-point game back to Sabonis to the middle now here's McConnell Simmons defending McConnell shot is off the 76ers have gone 6 of 11 so far 
to stop the throw. And Simmons lays it in. Simmons just got eight. Indiana trailing here. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Some bad shot selection, as well as some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points. Now here's Lamb. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. Pass to McDermott. And here is Lamb. The fader. Joel Embiid with the board. Embiid's got four rebounds in the game. He got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Yeah, and you have to credit him be with how he plays. So he right at players on both ends of the floor. Never backs down from the challenge. Of the Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. And with Embiid, he's been on a few posters, right? But that doesn't deter him. No, Embiid brushes it off and looks to throw it down on you on, on the other end. You love having that mentality from your defensive end. And he sinks the second. Well, it's all about the fun-loving personality. It's just awesome. I mean, this guy likes to have fun. Pass to Batadze. Outside Lamb. Here's Batadze. Back to Lamb. He takes it in. And there's Bede with the block. And so the ball out of bounds. Embiid touched it last. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Oh, he is all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make the play. Clock at two. Here's Holiday. Yeah, a, a really rough opening quarter for them in terms of shooting. And the first shot of the night for him, no good. Pass to Howard. Curry against Lamb. Lamb with some nice D. That's a shot they're always happy to get. Even when he blows the finish. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Here's Holiday. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. 
Pass to Maxi. Fires for three. That shot missing. Defensively, pick your poison. That time, they gambled off the right guy. To the inside. And Batadze gets it to go. Oh, great flow to that possession. Two players totally in sync with each other. The 76ers have gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Embiid a screen on Holiday. Up top, Embiid. The Sixers with another miss. There's a lesson for you. Don't show them. Tries to get fancy with the fadeaway. And, and it backfires. Here's McDermott. 15 in his last outing. Indiana needs to get a shot off from deep three-point range. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got a sixth rebound on the night. There's a minute 40 left in the first. Here's Milton. From outside, off the mark. Indiana's gone one for five from deep in this first. Struggling from that area. Pass to Patadze. Outside land. Here's Batate. Back to land. Jacks up a three. Connects from downtown. Now just a 2.76ers lead. Oh, the work Lamb has put into this part of his game is evident. Getting better at sniping from deep. Milton with it. Ten points in his last outing. Here's Maxi, and here's Curry for three. Can't get it to go, making him 0 for 2. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Lamb finds Holiday. Let's go with a three. Howard grabs the miss. So it's Philadelphia now. Outside Milton on the take. Off the mark, and the drought continues. Indiana shooting just about 29% so far. Not great. Outside Holiday. No! They're unable to get the tying basket there. That's the end of the first quarter. And not much scoring. It remains close. Sixers ahead. They're up by two. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. You want to make an impact and, you know, share your story with everybody. Uh, and so you kind of pushes everybody back home in the whole continent to want to do the same thing. Well, certainly MB puts himself front and center, willing to lead the cause on and off the court. And this is where his big personality helps. He has a larger-than-life quality that moves people. And some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. And looking at what we've seen from the Sixers, what do you guys think? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. No Take question. It's been stifling thus far, preventing that offense from establishing any kind of rhythm. We've got Tobias Harris. Ben Simmons is out there with Seth Curry. Then there's Furkan Korkmaz. And it's Howard in at the five spot. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. He misses the free throw. Well, Grant, you won two titles at Duke. Now, there used to be a sense that Duke players didn't translate to the NBA, but you helped change all that, and that's certainly not the case anymore. You know, B.A., it is incredible to see the amount of players in today's game who've come from Duke and are doing fantastic. I mean, I think it really started with Kyrie Irving as the first pick in the draft in 2011. 
And in the last 10 years, the number of players who've come in and made an impact right away, players like Jason Tatum, last year's most improved Brandon Ingram, of course, Zion Williamson, everyone's favorite rookie from last year. So there's a lot of talent in the NBA, and Duke is certainly well represented. It's fun to see. The kick out, Curry. Yes! And that's Simmons with the assist. Simmons has got three assists tonight. Oh, look, I love how Simmons makes his teammates better. He's consistent and looking to get them going. Now here's Land. Right now contributing around 10 and a half points a game. Back to Sabonis. Levert outside. Over Simmons. The shot by Levert. No good. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding. Pass to Court Love. Harris on the wing. The jump hook. And the shot's good. And now an 8-point 76ers lead. And right, now look, even when you can test how he maintains his focus, experience vet. This used to take a tough material shot. Now here's Lamb. Well, the 76ers shooting about 43% on this one. And Simmons, here we go. Out to Harris. And that's a foul called on Demonis Sabonis. That's his first foul of the game. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. And the 76ers making a change here. Green is checked in. Warren's checked in for Indiana. McConnell comes in for Lamb. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Green, the pass to Howard. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. The Pacers have got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Now here's McConnell. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Knocks it down from distance. They get burned this time. That's a shot they're willing to give up. Pass to Cork Moss. Now here is Howard. Turner covers. The shot by Howard, no good. Pacers have gotten only one of four shots to go in. Well, without a doubt, Miles Turner is one of the elite defenders in the league. Over two blocks a game for several seasons now, Grant. So impressive. Turner is top shelf when it comes to rim protection. He's great at challenging guards and big men alike. And his length and reach make it so difficult to navigate around him. Falls for him. Cold shots good from the strike. Oh, he's such a good free throw shooter. I mean, it frees him up to be as aggressive as he wants in the post. Outside Simmons. Pass to Harris. Indiana trailing here. To the paint. Here's Sabonis. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. White Howard picks one up. You have to be ready to battle when going up against Sabonis. His size and strength can wear defenders down. Well, Grant, the game's tempo seems to increase each year. You think there's a point at which it'll snap back to the other direction? 
You know, B.A., that's a great point. I mean, I think back to the 90s when I played and the game was at a snail's pace. It was a grinded out defensive battle. And slowly over the years, the tempo has picked up. As you said, each and every year it's increased. But I do think at some point, it, the pendulum will swing back and we'll get back to a little bit more uh, of, you know, a little bit less pace in terms of this, how the game is played. I don't think we're there yet, but we're getting close. Uh, the game constantly evolves in some form or fashion, and I believe that we'll kind of get back to maybe a little bit more of a slower pace at some point in the future. Now the kind of game we see in the playoffs. Exactly. The Sixers leading. Pass to Howard. Now here's Green. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. McConnell outside. There's the drive. And then Turner with the dunk. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. Oh, exactly right. Momentum shifting plays like that can change the tone of the game. Now here's Green. Eight points in his last time out. Pass to Harris. Down to five on the shot clock. And the White House picks up the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. The Pacers have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. And here's McConnell. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Warren. And he banks in the layup. And the Pacers lead by one. And the shot has come around. I mean, for most of the first quarter, it looked like he might be able to Outside, Green. Pass to Harris. Another three for Philadelphia. Catch it, Green. Yeah, this is a man I shoot. Provides great space. And here's Sabonis. Pounded by Harris. Levert outside. Back to Sabonis. Levert outside. Over Simmons. They get the rebound. Shots good by Sabonis. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Philadelphia's gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Sabonis against Harris. Howard with a screen on Sabonis. Here's Harris. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Now the Pacers with it. They're on a 13-5 run. Pass to Sabonis. Levert outside. Back to Sabonis. Puts up a three. The shot by Levert. No good. He has to work harder to get good high percentage work. He's been taking some bad shots. Howard finds Harris. Shoots over Sabonis. Here's Howard. Nice. Gets his second bucket. He's two for four now. It's a battle boxing Howard out. Too big, too strong. The Pacers have gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Back to McConnell. Down low. And stolen by Simmons. Here's Korkmaz. Off target from outside. Indiana's going one of two from downtown here in the second. McConnell outside. Outside Warren. Over Green. And once again off the mark by Indiana. Philadelphia's gone two of three from the three-point line in the second. Harris misses. He'll breathe a big sigh of relief if they hang on to win this game. He's not done much to contribute to them. Pass to Sabonis. Levert outside. Back to Sabonis. Now Levert. Picked by Sabonis. The shot by Levert. No good. It's a bad night from the field. It's only going to get worse if he keeps throwing those shots like that. 
On the wing, Green. Back to Simmons. Howard, the screen. Here's Korkmaz. No good with the triple. Well, Indiana shooting poorly, just 30% so far. Levert outside. Over Green. The Pacers again can't hit. The 76ers shooting just around 36%. Not the best execution. Pass to Harris. Looking to get back on track. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Harris has got seven now in this quarter. Indiana shooting just around 33% since the second quarter got out of the way. Indiana calls timeout. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. It was, frankly, embarrassing. I was shocked by their disorganization, and I think they were too. They just had nothing. They, they look very defeated out there. in this year's dunk contest. Always an exciting event. Yeah, year after year, these guys find new ways to innovate and stun the judges. It's remarkable stuff. And you look at Simmons, and I could see him moving even higher up in the ranks. He's certainly a talented guy up in the air. He is for sure, but this list is just packed with real aerial artists. This dunk contest is really going to be something special. And as All-Star Weekend gets closer, we'll of course update you on how things are looking. But this year already promises plenty of standout performances. Yeah, this is going to be a dunk contest you don't want to miss. The Sixers leading. Pass to Embiid. And here's Milton. Outside Tybal. Embiid with it. The shot. Got a hand on it. Now Holiday. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Takes the three. And it's Harris with the rebound. Philadelphia has gone two of four from beyond the arc in the second quarter. Here's Embiid. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Embiid's got five. Can't let Embiid get comfortable inside. When he's this close, he's adept at burning the defense. Yeah, you know, nobody really considers Tobias Harris as an elite defender, but by all accounts, he's an above average one. Opposing teams know that he's one of the best defenders on their team. He's shot in foot with his inability to make shots tonight. Outside Holiday. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And grant a 6'11 wingspan for Tobias Harris. That's a big bonus for him on defense. It really is. I mean, and you combine that with Harris's lateral quickness, and you can see the effect he has. Most people gloss over his defense with the eye test. But all the numbers say that he's very much a positive on that end of the floor. Philadelphia shooting just around 39% in the second quarter. Pass to Embiid. 
so it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And we know Joel Embiid knows that he's one of the best in the game. Love it when he challenges other stars and goes right at them on the floor. Embiid is a true superstar and super personality in the league. And he knocks down the first one. Grant, last season, M.B. declared himself the best player in the league. Not many echoed that statement. Yeah, B.A., most fans and pundits will disagree with M.B. It's hard to make a case for him. But that's the mentality M.B. has to have as a superstar. So who knows? In a few years, it might be true. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Well, Grant, I'm more of a paint-by-numbers guy, but among your interest is real art. What sparked your interest in that area? <laughs> B.A., my, my parents were collectors. Obviously, I started to collect in college, and then when my budget changed when I became an NBA ball player, I was able to enhance my collection. But it's been great, and one of the sort of outside-the-box hobbies that I've enjoyed. And when you look at the NBA now, there's plenty of athletes doing things that are sort of outside-the-box. So it's so gratifying to watch these young men continue to pursue interest outside of the game of basketball. The Grant Gallery pursuit. Ah, I like that. So it's the Pacers now. After the Sixers picked up the basket a moment ago. Holiday finds land. Here's McDermott, pounded by Harris. Shot clock at five. Land against Indeed. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. Lamb against Curry. Pass to Embiid. Fades and shoots. And too long on the shot. Indiana trailing here. Now Lamb. That's tipped. Six-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Lays it in off the pretty line. Oh, man, take a look at that one. Just a textbook alley-oop. Beautifully done. He served it up on a platter. Holiday with the ball. One half a play. The Sixers on top. They lead by seven. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Joel, you got out to an early lead. A lot to like in your performance thus far. What have you liked about it? Oh, I thought we played great. Defensively, I know that I had someone behind me. If I made a mistake, that was going to take away. I thought we did great. Thanks, Joel. Guys? Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. For the 76ers, the first quarter was pretty even. At the end of the period, they were up by two. It was in the second quarter when they really found their form, building their lead to seven points at the half. Let's start with you, Shaq. What'd you think about the 76ers? Well, Kenny should appreciate this. I love the ball movement. They were in sync as a unit, and their assist numbers were impressive. Anytime you get five players working together like that instead of one guy doing it alone, it's always going to be a boost. That's the primary reason they're in control of the game. And Kenny, let's get your input on the Pacers. They need to make major adjustments on the offense. Whatever their game plan was going into this game, scrap it. It's not been effective. The shots they were taking were not good shots. They need to find a way to spring guys open where they could shoot a better percentage. 
And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Tobias Harris really making a difference here. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And as they can't slow him down, you know what you do? Keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game, right? Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. On the floor for Indiana. Warren the three with Sabonis at the four. Karis LeVert is out there with T.J. McConnell. And it's Turner in at the five, down low. Now here's Stiebel. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Outside Simmons. Clock at six. Screen by Embiid from 13. Nice work on the boards, paying off with a basket. And the 76ers lead by nine. Oh, love the intensity which they're hitting the boards. Pass to Warren. Into the lane. Basket's good. Warren's got nine. What a finish there from Warren. Somehow ignoring the defense and getting the job done. To the left wing. Embiid against Warren. Embiid misses. There's a lesson for him. Don't show him. Tries to get fancy with the fadeaway. And then it backfires. It's Levert on the wing. He's got five. Sabonis outside. Three-pointer. And T.J. Warren is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. The 76ers have gone just one of three in the second half. Simmons, the pass to Embiid. Spins. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got his eighth rebound here tonight. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Can't Simmons. Give him eight. And Embiid gets the double team. Outside. Green. Pass to Simmons. Oh, from deep. Can't get it to drop. And it's the Pacers taking it the other way. Here's Warren. It's Levert on the wing. Out of bounds. It'll be Sixers ball. A chance now to take a look at the schedule for the Indiana Pacers. On Friday, they'll go up against the Grizzlies in Memphis. And then Sunday, they'll be facing Al Horford and the Oklahoma City Thunder. You hear this all the time, but a road trip is a great chance for a team to build chemistry on and off the court. Chemistry matters a lot in the NBA, and a trip like this can bring a team together. Now, here's Green. Here's Embiid. Excellent D there from Turner. Indiana's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Embiid against Levert. Pass to Turner. Sabonis outside. And he drives in. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Harris has got seven rebounds in the game. Right side, Simmons. Embiid with it. He's checked by LaVert. Looking to end the drought. Embiid passes to Simmons. Late clock. The Sixers need to pull one up here. Embiid misses. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Off this play from him so far. But you know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around. Now here's McConnell. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. We've gone about three and a half minutes here into the third. Here's Simmons. Here's Embiid. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. 
And they'll give that one to Miles Turner. Such a force of nature inside. I love how hard it is supposed to pick up these fouls. Free throw drops for Embiid. And Embiid drops them both. Well, his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go through a cold stream. Here's McConnell. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Warren against Green. Tries again. And the layup is up and in. Well, no basket feels better than a putback. Love getting rewarded for grinding it out on the glass. Simmons, the pass to Green. Here's Embiid. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Turner's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Now here's McConnell. Pass to Sabonis. Now here's Warren. Oh, they get a hand on it. The three is up. McConnell's shot is off. The Sixers leading. Here's Simmons. Give him eight. Here's Embiid. And no good trying to use the glass. The Pacers have gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Pass to Warren. Count that bucket. Oh, love the confidence Warren had on that shot. He knows how consistent he is at that range. Embiid with it. And here is Green. Howard finds Embiid. Shoots over Turner. It's deflected. And he's able to get it back. But they recover it. Here's Simmons. And finally they hit one. Simmons has got 10 points. Oh, he's a supreme competitor. Simmons, he creates second chance opportunities with this hustle. Sabonis with a screen on Simmons. McConnell goes in. Sweet little floater. McConnell's got his first points of the game. <laughs> that's just great touch. The teardrop, well, that's all about feeling. Now Simmons. He's got 10. Pass to Corkmont. The three. Warren with the rebound. The Pacers have gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. And the thing about T.J. Warren, he's such a patient scorer on the floor. He looks for his shots that he knows that he can make. He's really a walking bucket as long as he's healthy. Now here's Warren. 11 points in the game. Takes it inside. And a two-handed jam! Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. Your yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see.
up here. Just good hustle. Always nice to get an easy bucket on the break. That's about as high percentage a look as you're going to get running the floor. Through. Now here's Holiday. He's got five, and he gets it back. It seems like every miss ends up in his hands. He's been unreal. This one is just being in the right place at the right time. I mean, he's been active and nice. Here's Maxi. They lead by seven. Embiid from outside. Counted from distance. Embiid's got seven points for the quarter. Hitting only 20% from the field this quarter. He might want to start getting others involved. Pass to McDermott. And they get it. Knocks down the triple. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. <laughs> Talk about the great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun. Now here's Embiid. He's got 16. For three, Maxi on target from range. Maxi's got his second bucket. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating his offense like a maestro. Pass to Patazze. Holiday up top. Here's Patazze. Six to shoot. Shoots over Embiid. Called in by Curry. Philadelphia has got two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Here's Maxi. Five points in the game. Kept alive. Here's Embiid. Somehow scores the layup in traffic. And now it's a 12-point 76ers lead. Pass to Patate. One fifty-six left in the third quarter. And Holiday, here we go. On the way, Milton. How quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. All alone from mid-range. You've got to think he's kicking himself. Now here's Lamb. Here's McDermott. Pass to Holiday. Outside Lamb. Now Holiday lets it go from deep, nails it from three. Holiday's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. He's an improved distance shooter. Holiday, he's added to his game in the show. Outside Milton. Embiid with it. Pulls it. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Embiid's got 20 points. Well, with the bro, he's on this corner. They're, they're gonna keep going to him. Get that lead even bigger. Pass to Lamb. Fires from deep. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. He's just in a rough patch. He's trying to climb out of it, but hasn't been successful. Now here's Embiid. Over Holiday. Embiid can't hit. 
Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Lamb passes to Holiday. Back to Lamb. All alone. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Here's Maxi. There's a screen. Pass to Embiid. He got it up. And that's not going to go. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. The Sixers on top, up 11. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for quarter number four. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, it's also called making a good read, understanding where everyone is and taking full advantage. Fantastic. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Harris and Embiid make up the front court. Ben Simmons is out there with Seth Curry. And it's Thibel in at the three. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Here's Sabonis. And so he draws the foul and into the line to shoot a pair. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Sabonis. Both from the stripe. The Sixers leading. Outside Simmons. Here's Embiid. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And they'll give that one to Miles Turner. Hard to guard Embiid without fouling. He's awesome at forcing the defense's his hand. Literally. First one at the line is good. McConnell, he's checked in for Lamb. And Embiid drops them both. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. Indiana shooting just around 32% from the field. The bonus outside. Pass to Warren. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Simmons. He's checked by Levert. Here's Korkmaz. Launches it. Levert with a rebound. Now he hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. It's a good thing he has the guys around him to carry the win. And it's blocked. Simmons up top. He's covered by Warren. Oh, it's stolen by Levert. Going inside. That one doesn't drop. 
Good D by Simmons. Philadelphia shooting only 36% so far in this game. Harris outside. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Pass to Korkmaz. Just five on the clock. Using his post moves to get the two points. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink of giving up. Now here's LeBert. This one for three. Korkmaz pulls it in. Pass to Simmons. Ooh, another basket for him. He's 6 of 11 now. And almost 7 feet tall. Simmons is hard to contain. Defense has to push him farther away. LeVert outside. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here on the fourth. Now here's Turner. McConnell right side. LeVert outside. To win the drought. It's the trifecta. Wow, his first triple of the second half gives him two on the night. He's not making much of an impact for people. Outside Simmons. Pass to Harris. Now here's Embiid. Turner covers. Puts it up. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. Some very aggressive defense to prevent the easy lane. Simmons against LeBert. Over Simmons. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to go on Ben Simmons. And B.A., when you look at the first few seasons of Karis LeBert's career, he began to deal with injuries in several of them, but he still showed great improvement despite take missing so many take games. Two shots. Free throw, no good. Back to Levert. His last season was his best. He showed he could be a Swiss Army type player. He looked more and more comfortable with his outside shot. And also, Levert has found ways to make a difference beyond scoring. He can have big nights on the glass or acting as a bit of a playmaker. And the second free throw is good. And last season, one of the most difficult the league has ever faced. From the passing of former Commissioner David Stern to Kobe Bryant, the pandemic, the protest, Chris just one gut punch after another. Yeah, B.A., yeah. it was. It was tough to get through it all. But I think the players and Commissioner Silver, I mean, I think they handled it about as well as you possibly can. We send our prayers up for those that we lost and the falls and the rest of us. show for the fans going up for the graceful first oh that had a little extra sauce on it Grant now here's Simmons and it's Simmons with the game I mean, that's too easy for Simmons I mean the closer he gets to the bucket the more dangerous he is pass to Sabonis outside Warren Back to Sabonis, and here's Levert over Simmons. The shot by Levert, no good. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Simmons against Sabonis. Rejected by Sabonis. That shot won't fly with Sabonis around. Nearly seven feet tall, plus his reach. He creates serious coverage. Pass to Levert. Here's Korkmaz. Here's Simmons. And it's Simmons with the jam. Such an impressive athlete. The way Simmons moves on the drive is so natural and under control. Outside Warren. Just 
done almost no damage from three point range. This is no reason they have no one for first. Harris outside. Right side, Thibel. Takes one from 10 feet. Good. He's been great in this one. Nine for 15 after that shot. Oh, man. Challenging defense inside this pass. That's just good ball move. Pass to Turner. Levert outside. Back to Turner. And here's Levert. Simmons defending. Here's a screen by Turner. From 11 feet away, the shot by Levert. No good. Most nights this shot would have been his, but the defender gave him just enough trouble. Pass to Embiid. Here's McConnell, trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed, a rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Now Levert. Here's Sabonis, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It was a strong move, but the shot's just a little off. <laughs> That free throw no good. Green's check in for the Sixers. For Philadelphia, they've got five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. And here's Simmons. Oh, it's stolen by LeBert. Pass to Warren. Trying to get back on track. No good. A bit long that time. They absolutely want to add to what's already a big lead. No question, B.A. No reason to let up. Just keep playing your game. Now here's Simmons. Now Thibault. Six on the shot clock. Here's Embiid. And it's rejected. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Pacers. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. It's simple. I mean, when you're behind in the game, that's what you got to do. Contest every shot. Curry, he's checked in for Bible. Indiana has got one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. Indiana calls timeout. Or you look at Joel at B. He's playing really well right now. There should only be one thing they're talking about in this time. Trying to deny him the ball in the paint before he does any more damage. Joel Embiid, 
Yeah, and it's not surprising. He's really going at the defense inside throughout the entire game. He's just showing the D no mercy whatsoever. They constantly were feeding him the ball, clearing out, and letting him do his thing. And you know, this home arena really appreciates this guy. And it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. On defense, the Sixers. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. It's at 15 points. Outside Warren. A shot to stop the drought. Kept alive by Indiana. Here's Levert. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game is going. Outside Curry. Perfect position to grab the rebound. Gets underneath, boxes out, and pulls it down. McConnell with it. Pass to Warren. The three is up. But they'll get another chance. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Sabonis. And that's good as he hits both shots. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Outside Simmons. Harris outside. Shot clock at 6. Now here's Simmons. He's closely guarded. McConnell outside. Pass to Warren. The rebounding differential is a major story in this game. Here's Simmons. Embiid with it. Simmons finds Embiid. Shoots over McConnell. Oh, he's excellent to see in the floor. Simmons brings a pass first mentality to this game. And it's the Pacers with the ball. 15 point game. Curry against LeVert. Curry with some nice D. He hasn't been able to find any kind of groove this quarter. It seems like he's been running on fumes since halftime. Simmons, the pass to Curry. Back to Simmons. Just four to shoot. <laughs> Simmons has got his fifth assist in this one. 
<laughs> they have a relentless mentality, even with the game in total control. This is no let up. You know, this is the kind of hard nosed competitiveness that wins games. Shots good by Simonis. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the 76ers. You can score without sharing the ball, but it can be a whole lot easier when guys are assisting one another. <laughs> yeah, they were very patient. They were also unselfish, and ultimately, that's why they were so efficient. And for the Pacers, they're shooting just 28%, lacking confidence on offense right now. Pass to Warren. Fifty-four seconds left in the final quarter. Now here's Simmons. Now Harris. He's checked by Levert. Tries it from the block. And he can't bank that one in. And it's Indiana's ball. Down by 15. McConnell outside. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Pass to Warren. Here's Levert. Oh, he's way off from outside. And here's Curry. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Joel, in the past, you've certainly had your critics, and you have not run from them. What are you looking to prove out there? Uh, just being dominant, so I want every time people hear my name, I want them to know that I'm a dominant player. Well, you do have the ability to dominate every single night. Good luck moving forward. Allie, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Chris Weber, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for tuning in to watch the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.